All right, y'all, we are back with another video, and here we go again, man. Now, I definitely had to check this out because I heard Judge Janine went to the courthouse, right where the courthouse said with uh, Judge Marshawn, this crooked judge, where he's allowing Stormy Daniels to say all type of disgusting things about Donald Trump that has nothing to do with the case. I mean, this right here is just crazy. I've said this like in my last few videos, is that... If you knew what this woman was saying had nothing to do uh, to do with the case, why is you allowing her to say all these disgusting things like these private things about this man and you sitting there letting her do it and once she get all of it out and then you turn around and say, well, none of that has nothing to do with the case because they're trying to open up another case on Donald Trump if this right here don't go through. So I definitely want to check this out because all these people are crooked and all they're trying to do is, is prolong this dumb trial to try to keep Donald Trump off the campaign just so they feel like Joe Biden is going to go up in the poll numbers or something. Ain't it weird, though, that Trump ain't even been campaigning really that much and he's still beating Joe Biden? That right there ought to tell you something. But like I said, I definitely want to check this out and see what Judge Janine had to say. I heard she absolutely went off on Stormy Daniels and this corrupt judge at the courthouse. So like I said, make sure y'all please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Shout out to the one that always stay until the very end. I really, really appreciate everybody that watches the entire video and hit that like button as you're coming in. Make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date with everything that's going on. And uh, let's go ahead and dive straight into it, and let's see what Judge Janine had to say about this. All right, hey, Judge, uh, good to have you with us. Uh, the one hey. thing that really kind of stuck Thank with me, you. one thing that really kind of stuck with me through this whole ordeal with Stormy on the stand was the following in cross-examination. When Susan Nicholas said to Stormy Daniels, uh, am I correct that you hate President Trump? Stormy Daniels said yes. Nicholas says, you want him to go to jail, right? Stormy Daniels, I want him to be held accountable. And, and I'm wondering, what does she want him to be held accountable for? I mean, she's got her own beef with him about a, a completely uh, different issue. But what dog does she have in this particular fight that's being uh, held out in the court here in New York City today? Well, if you're asking what dog she has in this race, the only dog she has in this race is well over a million dollars that the defense attorney uh, uh, made it clear through repeated examples of the money, you know, the the, the mm -hmm. horny America tour, uh, <laughs> as well as interviews and non-disclosure. This woman has done nothing but make money since the day she met Donald Trump. And yet she, she admits that she hates him. She says, as you say, John, that he should be made accountable. But but at the same time, she is absolutely in, really dug in on the idea that she's happy, she's going to be dancing if he goes to jail. Uh, she is going back and forth on Twitter, responding to people in vicious ways. Uh, but I think most telling about the testimony today was that this was a masterclass in cross-examination. Hmm. You had an attorney who was able to question Stormy Daniels about what she said that the prosecution led out very clearly, but all of the prior inconsistent statements that are what we use as prosecutors to make the witness incredible. And this mm. witness was incredible because between an interview with In Touch, Vogue magazine, Anderson Cooper, uh, as well as the NDA and all of the other surrounding circumstantial evidence, nothing was ever straight. On the one hand, Donald Trump met her here, then he met her there, then he was up, then she was a, she he wasn't afraid of him, but he stood up over her. I mean, she really was all over the case. And, you know, when I first saw mm -hmm. her on direct, it was clear to me that she was well prepped as a prosecution mm. witness. She was not prepped at, for cross-examination. And I think she really lost any sense of credibility when she started talking about her talking to the dead. You know, she's got this ability, you know, she lived in a haunted house. Somebody left her, one of her children's fathers left her because of this haunted house. I mean, she came across as pretty kooky and uh, not, not at all believable. And I think it was excellent mm -hmm. cross-examination that we saw. Well, and judge to you know your earlier point, if she hates him, she's vowed not to pay the half a million dollars that you know a judge ordered her to pay. If she won't respect 
a judge's order, yeah. how would she respect the oath that she's taking to give this testimony today? But I want to bring up um, the question, line of questioning when she was asked if she ever felt threatened by Trump. Um, Hoffinger says, did you feel threatened by him? Yep. Daniel says, no, not physically, although I did note there was a bodyguard right outside the door. There was an imbalance of power for sure. He was bigger and blocking the way, but I mean, I was not threatened verbally or physically. So how do you square that with yeah. her other testimony that she entered into this NDA Whoa. out of safety? Yeah, well, you square it away by coming to the conclusion that she is lying because the statements are totally inconsistent. Mm -hmm. I noticed today that she tried to make it very clear that she wasn't on drugs, she didn't have alcohol, the president didn't force her to do anything. But, you know, she it, it appeared she was trying to pull back from that because there was a lot of concern on direct examination about how she described this imbalance in power. On the one hand, she says that Keith Schiller, the president's former bodyguard, was outside the room, and then he was and outside the room and you know but but as I sat there in the mm. courtroom I couldn't help but say to myself this is great for the defense because we are so far into reversible error territory that mm. it is pathetic because this is totally extrinsic to whether or not a non-disclosure agreement and the parameters of that agreement and who signed it, the agreement, and whether or not it was followed, which is the essence of this crime that's being alleged against the president. That had nothing to do with it. She even said it happened, quote, many, many, many years ago. Hmm. And so, of course, the defense kind of jumped on that and said, you agree it happened many, many, many years ago. And so this is this is the kind of information that is kind of interesting. It's titillating. She comes across, as I said, as contradicting herself over and over. And then she would say, you know, I didn't do it for the money. I wanted to get the story out. And the cross that just goes to show you right there with the inconsistencies like with Stormy Daniels. This woman is just lying. Now we all can see it. She is straight lying on Donald Trump. And like I mentioned before at the beginning of this video, all of this is just to keep Donald Trump out the campaign trail. They want to bring all the cases to this man when he started running for president. Everybody, all of them. And then you got this crooked judge. And this crooked judge, he'll just sit there and believe Stormy Daniel because he just want Donald Trump to be wrong. He don't want the best for Donald Trump. He want Donald Trump to be wrong. And with the inconsistency with this woman, Stormy Dane, you can just tell she is a liar and she is lying. And I know this crooked judge know that. Is he going to do the right thing? Probably not. He's just going to keep prolonging it, letting Stormy Daniels spew out all of this crap that he already didn't allow her to say, because I don't know what judge would allow this woman to say some of the egregious things that she said that came out of her mouth. But you know why? Because this is a crooked judge, and he won't what's bad for Donald Trump. Now, you can hear Judge Janine, she actually went to the courtroom. She's in the courtroom and, and seeing all of this stuff and can tell there's some phony stuff going on and that this woman is a liar. This examination was you wanted to get the story out. You could have done a presser Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, yeah. any day of the week. But you were waiting. And then you found out from your lawyer the slate wasn't paying money. So you decided to go with the NDA. Then she breaks the NDA. And then she continues to make money. I mean, I'm well over a million, two, three, four. Yeah. This has been her livelihood from the day she met. Donald Trump, who wasn't the president at that point. And, and in fact, Susan oh, and I Nicola, gotta tell you one more thing. Yeah, go ahead. Sure, go this ahead. This is the kind of information, as I said, that's not only reversible test, reversible error, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it's almost entertaining. And when they go into that jury room, she's not going to be relevant because there's nothing that she said that connected Donald Trump with that NDA, that connected Donald Trump with any of the things that she was talking about other than that act that she described differently every time she talked about it. So at the end of the day, and I hate using that term, but in the deliberation room, she didn't lay a finger on the essence of the crimes that are alleged against Donald Trump in that court. See there? She ain't, and that's the thing with Judge Janine is saying that she ain't talking about why they are going to court. She's bringing up other stuff. 
That's exactly what Stormy Daniels is doing. She ain't talking about what they're supposed to be talking about, the reason why they are in the courtroom, the reason why they have Trump in the courtroom. She wants to come in there, testify, and try to bring up all types. It was a bodyguard outside the door. Donald Trump did this. He did that. She's talking about everything else except the case. And you could tell, like, I'm pretty sure her lawyer them got her spewing out all of this crap. And it is just crazy. And why haven't this judge put a gag order on Michael Cohen? He's on TikTok running his mouth, saying all type of stuff. It, it, this is just this just goes to show you that he'll rather gag the the uh, president, the former president. You'll rather gag, put a gag order on him so he can't defend himself, and he got to sit there and let other people just chew him out. They can say whatever they want to say about him, but if Donald Trump say something back he get fined or he get threatened with jail time. This is the, uh, the society we live in. New York, man, I would never move to New York. I, I mean, it, there's no way. These people are phony in New York. Not everybody. It could be some good people there, but I'm talking about like these judges. They are crooked. I mean, man, come on. So at the end of the day, and I hate using that term, but in the deliberation room, she didn't lay a finger on the essence of the crimes that are alleged against Donald Trump in that courtroom. Right. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily. Wow. Com Shout out to Judge Janine, man, because, you know, Judge, and I think she went to court again. I think she went to court again, so I definitely need to check that uh, video out as well. But I definitely had to check this one out because I didn't even know she went to the courtroom like she was in there while it was going on. So Judge Janine knows exactly what she's talking about. So shout out to Judge Janine for that. But uh, y'all let me know what y'all think about this. But obviously we can see that this woman is talking about everything else except the case itself. And this crooked, no good judge is allowing her to do it because he's trying to find a way to try to convict Donald Trump. Because that's what he want to do. So, I mean, this right here is just wild, you know. But like I said, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to uh, hit that like button. Subscribe to stay up to date with everything. And i catch y'all in the next one.